Okay, uh, we're going to talk about Facebook like buttons. First of all, it's good to differentiate what it is you actually want because there's the initial like button. It's very simple. You click like and the shows the viewer actually just likes that page or that article that you have. The next step up for that is the send button where the viewer clicks that they actually want to share that content with their friends, as it says here. Content. The next level up from that is the subscribe button. And as you can see here, it allows people to subscribe to other Facebook users directly from your site. So it's handy if you're promoting another page of yours or an affiliates page or whenever you want to support someone else's Facebook page. Now, you can put any one or all of these on your page, but for the sake of this video, we're just gonna look at options for the like button and we're gonna come back to these in later videos. Well, one of the easiest ways to get the like button on your pages of your website is to simply do it through Facebook itself. And this address here, developers.facebook.com slash docs slash plugins, should be below this video for you to get easy access. So we'll click the like button here. And here it gives us all sorts of information about what the like button is and isn't. But this is the thing you really want to look at. This is it, this is the like book generator. What you want to do is put in the page here. So let's say, and we want to send button. So we want to send it to people as well. And let's, let's take that. So it's just the like button. Okay, so that way more people will probably click that. If you add the send button, people can click like or send. So if you want to give the choice, that's fine. But sometimes maybe you want to give less choice, you know. But for the moment, let's just keep it as is. There's a standard layout or you can have button count. Now, nobody's clicked it, so there's no number there. But if there was, there'd be a number. Let's see if we can get an example of that. Yeah, here's the button count where you have 957,000 people like this. So I'd recommend the button count when you know you're going to get a certain number of people clicking that or only adding it to a certain page when a certain number have already clicked it. Because if it says nobody, it'll say something like, uh, be the first of your friends to like this. That's fine. Maybe it's a good suggestion for people to actually click the thing, but it could just mean that nobody's interested and make people lose interest because other people aren't interested. Let's look at the box count. Right? The box count is where they say the little thumbs up symbol and it'll show how many liked or sent. So as you can see already, there are different options for the layout of the button. So for example, the standard layout works very well if it's above a blog post, as a post here or below a blog post, whereas the box count works often down the side with a column there, down the side of some text. So just have a think about where you're going to use it and that'll be uh, which way you're going to decide. So we'll, we'll, we'll stick with the standard layout for the minute. You can change the width and you can show faces. That means if people like it, there'll be a little thumbnail there of, say, my image there. When I like something, it'll be my image when other people look at the page. Let's say Alistair likes this page. Verb to display. You can say like or recommend. Again, it depends on the page. Somebody gave an example of an article about some horrible war or atrocity, and it's very difficult for a lot of people to click like that you like this article of war atrocity, what would be more fitting then is using, say, the recommend button. So that would be the kind of thing where you, you would use the recommend button instead of the like button. Light scheme. Oh, see, it's actually updated from the self com join page. And there is my business colleague, Alistair McDermott's little, little image. Let's see what happens when we... Okay, so as you can see, the others don't show faces. That's interesting. So it's only the standard layout that actually shows a face. So that we've learned something new there already. Right, now, like or recommend, we talked about that. Light or dark. So again, depending on the color scheme, you might want to block out that for some reason. It might suit your color scheme for to make the like and send button stand out that bit more. But most people and most uses, I'd recommend keeping it light, as you say. So it looks more normal in a lot of other sites. And you can actually change the font. So you can change it to Verdana, depending again on the font around it. But to be honest, it's often a good idea to actually have a different font. Like some people have a different font for their headings as to their body text, so you can go the same way with that. So you can play around with those different things. So let's just click to get the code. Right, so the href enter does not recognize a valid URL. That means basically is I forgot to put in the HTTP. So just, again, kind of did that on purpose just to show you, but there it is, and it should work perfectly now. And as you can see, it does. Now, this code here is for copying and pasting. 
And so what we do is we copy this, we go into a new page, just paste it in there. Now, here's the thing. Now we have to decide where we want the button. Right? So what I'm going to do is just publish that. All right, now as you can see, there's no, there's no actual button there yet because... Okay, but that's not the actual Facebook button. The actual Facebook button is this simple little line of code here. We copy that into our page, and we're going to decide where we want it. Do we want it above the body text? That's a, a, a usual place to put it, but maybe we also want at the bottom of the body text as well. So let's do that. Let's put it down here. So it's sort of sandwiched, the article sandwiched between the two. So click update. Get that. And there is the button. All right, so that's how you can put in the most simple like, send, Facebook button onto any page or onto any post. It's just pasting that in. But that can get a little bit time consuming if you want it on every page, having to do that every time. So there is another solution which we're going to show you in greater detail in another video because it's not that complex but there's certain steps you have to take in a certain order and you have to just get it right. So it's not really for this video. Another thing to be aware of is this is the URL specifically for that particular page, for the join page. So if I put it on this site, it'll still mark the join page if people click the like button. So you have to have to change that for, for each page. The, uh, now you can change that in the code so that for each page it, it goes to itself. right? But the other thing you should be aware of is do you want to like that page or for example your your actual Facebook page? So when people are reading the article they think click to like your Facebook page rather than just that article. Uh, so you have to kind of decide which one you want to prioritize. So as you can see, it's a very different proposition there. We have 199 people liking us. You have to decide which you want for your strategy. Do you want them to like your Facebook page, or do you want them to like the actual article, post, or page that they're reading at that moment? Okay, so the Facebook plugin we're going to look at is simply called Like. Great stuff. And as you can see, it boasts a lot of the functions that the Facebook like generator that we looked at a moment ago does, and it also does a huge amount of languages. Note also four stars out of 68 ratings, not definitive, but that's usually a good hint of how it's going to look. Now, how does it look on the page? This is our own blog here at selfassemblysites.com, and this is a recent post here. And as you can see, that's how it looks at the top of the text. Very simple. One of, uh, well, there's my work colleague, Alistair McDermott. Seven others like this. Great stuff. And then it appears at the bottom as well. So it's sort of sandwiched between. So you can click it the minute you get to the page. And then you can have it appear at the bottom as well. Now, it's very simple, as you can see. Very unobtrusive. So that might be the answer if you don't want anything too mad or distracting. Okay. The other benefit to mention about the actual like plugin appearing on the page is it appears on every page, not just uh, each one at a time like you'd have to do with the Facebook generated code. So that's a huge benefit right there. Let's look at the back end for a moment. And here we have a page, again, that's quite similar to the Facebook generator for like buttons itself. So as you see, you can set the width, you can height, you can change the layout to three standard sizes. Now what is particularly useful here is you can choose how to align it, left or right. But here's the one, top, bottom, or you can only have it, if you wish, you can change it so that it's only, for example, on your blog and not on your pages, or on your pages and not on your posts, uh, and so on and so forth. You can show it in search or not, and you can change the borders. So that this is perfect if you want a very simple plugin with a limited number of features, but that does the simple things very well. So